guys, we got a new episode of Talk of the Town. And today we have a special guest from Back on the K from Brooklyn, New York. So tell us how you got your rap name. I like I like that question. Um, I got my rap name from um from my father. You know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? Where he's from in Brooklyn. You know what I'm saying? Got a little cloud over and stuff like that. So I thought it'd be cool to you know what I'm saying? Put a twist on it and start to do music, take a different route. So that's how I ended up with that name. So your father was an artist? Wasn't. I think you say that, but a different kind of artist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, all right, all right. Yeah, yeah, that was all right. Okay, so what was it like growing up in Brooklyn for you? Well, growing up in Brooklyn was a little bit different because I've, I've been I've been a lot of places, you know. Okay. Um, I moved when I was young, when I was like six years old. I came back for a little bit, so I've been kind of in and out. I've been a lot of places, so. Okay. Home has been home has always been you know different from anywhere else because you know it's New York but so is Brooklyn home? Brooklyn is home. No, Brooklyn is home. Okay. Yeah, no, 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 Brooklyn is Brooklyn is home. You know, this is my I just been home for the longest now. You know what I'm saying because I've been everywhere I've been traveling a lot. So okay, okay. So growing up, who was some artists you listened to when growing up? I know I niggas going here like y'all Biggie talking. I mean, I mean, yeah, I listened to a few times, but you know when I was starting to do music, that's when like Big Sean was out and like Wiz Khalifa was just starting. And some like the little newer, older cast that's in now. Like that's, who? Who's newer, like, older? Like Wiz Khalifa, Big Sean, I mean, that whole class, you know, that freshman oh. class of what was it, like 20? That, the class that was, yeah, the one that's going out now, the one that's finally moving out now, young, 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 too. before 21 Savage. Only exactly, yeah, exactly. That was, so that was, you know, that's who I started believing, like, you know, Big Sean was a lot of my inspiration. Like, okay, if you could do that from each other, I'd probably do something like that, too, so. Okay, so how would you describe mm -hmm. your sound? My sound? My sound is my sound has changed over the years, but right now I think I moved to a, a good like a vocal sound. You know, I think right now like a lot of uh, vocal melodies and stuff like that is it's been I've always had that wave, so I've been just trying it now, and now my sound is just moving into a uh, vocal, but more like a vocal trap still. You feel me? Mm, okay, okay, okay. So what inspired the single Matter? Matter. Well, it started with that. I was just thinking because I was um you know I took a while a break off music and I came back. And you know, I started doing more numbers and stuff like that. I'm thinking okay. like people when they fill in is X Y Z X Y Z. So I thought like niggas just matter, you know what I'm saying? So okay. So um, so do you have any like dream collabs or any collabs on the way or any artists you want to work with? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right now, I think what well, I want to. That's 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 up in the air, but I'm not gonna say anything unless it's official, anyways. But um, I do want to work with um 26 AR eventually. And of course, Chef G and Sleep I love definitely work with other than that, you know. Okay. Some lyrics, some people that go very cool in the city. Where... So if you say you're more vocalist, what kind of style, song would you do with them? Uh, it'd be like, I mean, I don't know if you heard the, my ORU song though, but it's more like, um, it's more towards that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's more of a trap melody song, so, okay. you know what I'm saying? Okay, how did the lab with Lil Porto come about? The, the which one? Lil Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. Oh, you talking about you talking about big child support, big child support. Mm -hmm. like, you talking about poor poor. You talking about little poor poor. <laughs> I think you talking about poor poor. Um, yeah. Um, we did we did a we did a feature last year. Okay. Um, I'm still in Atlanta, but we still gotta go back and finish it. I get to go back and finish it, but. Okay. So moving around in Atlanta, did you meet more artists out there? Yeah, I did meet a lot of artists. Like I, there's a lot of girls that was doing hair. You know, oh, that is lit over there. You know, <laughs> I'm just like the girls got a lit, and you're gonna be on Atlanta. You gotta know the strippers. You gotta know the girls who's doing hair. My auntie from over there too, so she put me into a lot of. I lived there for like six months a little bit. So okay, yeah. so any, you collab with any other Atlanta artists or not yet or soon come? Actually, mm -mm. no, no, there's only one actually so far. Okay, out of all the songs you released, which one is your favorite? Which one is my favorite? Hmm. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, the um the OU song, you know, got a lot of traction and stuff like that. A lot of people tell me like, hey, you should do something with like that one. So I think that one it shows my talent the best way, you know, and in the beat and everything. Just it's just a good collab with the good show. So how long have you been doing music? I think it was like seven years now. Probably like since I was like, well, actually a bit longer than that. Probably 18, 19. Took a little more serious after high school, you know. And then you know, it's just, it's just been I've been everywhere. I've been I travel a lot. Hmm. I've been to Florida, I've been to California, I've been to everywhere, you know, for music, so okay. trying to put it together, you know what I'm saying, for the pieces. Of it. Okay, so when you start touring, what's some places you want to perform at, being that you done traveled so much? Right, well, the only place you really not got to be like Rio, 
you know what I'm saying, somewhere in Rio or Tokyo or... Um, so, the other, like, overseas or yeah, something? Yeah, the other overseas. I've, I've, been, I've been to Germany. I've been to um, Spain before. So you performed at these places? I've been from Germany before. Okay. Like, when I first started making music, that's when I was first new to it, so... Okay, so how is it performing over there versus over here? Is there a difference? Um, I, I guess it depends. With the, I, I feel like the, um, people over there, they like the music better. You know what I'm saying? That's why even people like Chef G, like, they made it because of UK drill. And it made sense over there for them, so. Okay. Okay, so what's something that's on your bucket list, like, as an artist? Like, what's something that, like, y'all got to accomplish this? Right, right. The music. I think, I think, I mean, I think everybody says a million views on YouTube. Like, you know, <laughs> I feel like a million views on YouTube is a, you know, it's just like a stepping stone to, you know, or going viral, even going viral. Well, that's the thing. What is going viral? Tick, like, do you think they have to, like, TikToks and platforms like that? It's, this if I wrote to me is like for music though, I don't wanna I mean even if you go for goofy, something goofy is still you Would know. you be happy if it was for something goofy though? Know? Yes, because I know how to flip that. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to flip that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I kinda like um so what are you working on next? Working right on now, an album project? Yeah, right now we um dropping um I already have a I have like two videos done. Well, you know, like, now I don't count those videos, it's like studio performances. Mm -hmm. But the Who Are You videos in the cut, we're waiting on that. And like I said, I don't push nothing until I do it the right way. So but it'll, when it come out, it'll come out. You know what I'm so saying? So Project 2021 or? Oh, that's for this year. Yeah, well, mixtape, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna wait more to like, you know, Christmas time. That's more of a Christmas time vibe anyways. Mixtapes come out Christmas. But um, summertime, we trying to hit them with a single heavy. Like, we trying to do something crazy or something. Like, like a wanna, summertime single? Yeah, like I want to do something crazy this summer, like World Star Hip Hop and that's just small pla that's just small things to just you to be that. everywhere, you know, yeah. just to build that you want to build, build momentum. I'm just in a build, build momentum state right now, you know what I'm saying? Okay. And it's working, so we just trying to keep it up. Okay, so tell people where to find you, where to find your music and all that good stuff. Alright, real pack under K, R E A L P A K one Zero Zero K at I G. Um Spotify, you can find me in the same way at uh, Pack Under K is not real, it's just Pack Under K on Spotify, iTunes title and the rest of that. So if you go through IG, everything else should be there. So. On all streaming platforms. Yeah, IG is lit right now. Definitely follow <laughs> IG.